Hi everyone, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper and today we are doing our fall kit for Through the Seasons. Through the Seasons is with my crafty friend Jeanette Jeannie Linguini here on YouTube and many others that join in the hop where we take a season of the year, right? We started with winter, then we did spring, we just got done with summer, and now we're into fall. So from now until December, we will be doing um, fall-isk layouts, right, with fall colors. They may not all end up being fall pages, but we're definitely um, going to do that. And so I'm gonna show you my kit. Now, everyone has a different kit. Everyone does this hop different. That's what makes it so fun. So make sure you check out all of the hop participants. They're in the description of this video. Like always, everything is always in the description of my videos. Um, and if you like this type of content where we take a kit and we play with it through different seasons, please let me know in the comments. Um, I don't know if Jeanette's going to continue to do through the seasons or not, but if this is something that you like, I would love to know that so that maybe I can come up with my own series if it's really something you want to see again next year. Okay, so with that said, let's get into what I'm going to do. Now, I use sketches for through the seasons, and I usually take one sketch throughout the beginning of this year. Now this last little bit, I'm gonna do it a little bit different. We kind of talked about that um, last month. And so I usually take a sketch and I do it at least twice. Well, now I'm gonna show you the kit and I'm going to, instead of doing two videos a month, I'm gonna show you one video a month and I'm gonna show you how to use a sketch, sketch, pardon me, four ways. I'm gonna do the same sketch four times. I um, have done a couple of extra layouts last month and my goal is always to do 12. So with the kit, because I'm using the things that I have. I am not buying special things. I am really this year, I am so proud of myself. I am using product. I have not bought very much. Now I started off bad. <laughs> beginning of the year but honestly other than like glue um some photo matting cardstock eight and a half by 11 white i have not bought a ton i mean you guys haven't seen a haul video for me for a long time because i really haven't purchased a whole lot so this is no different i am going to use up this prima pad that is my um goal and if you know you know i've been organizing all year so I need to get rid of this fall thing. I'm not doing things like this. So my goal is to use these two things up. Now, I will probably add cardstock in. I will probably pull out my embellishment binder for fall. Um, and maybe I won't use all fall layouts. Maybe some of them will be a little bit different. But I'm going to use it up. That's my point. Did you, did you get that I'm going to use it up? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let me show you this Prima pad. I've had this pad. How old is this pad? Oh, no. It should say, right? Like the year on it? Hmm. No, of course not. That would be too easy. I don't know. It's it's the um, Autumn Sunset. I know I've had it for a hot minute. I really have. And it is beautiful. Like it's Prima paper, right? But you get four of them. Look at this. It has like a mixed media vibe. We're just going to go through them because these are the papers that I'm going to do. And my goal is not to pull a ton in with this. I really want to get the 12 layouts out of this pad and use it up. And whatever papers I have, well, I'll show you that if there's even any in there. Because I honestly don't remember. That's how long it's been since I've been in there. So see, really pretty papers. I've used this several times. Um, and you can tell. I mean, I, I basically have two left, right, in each one. I will tell you this. Whatever of this pad I don't use, I'm going to make a kit and put it in the blessing boxes. That's what I'm going to do. Because... I'm tired of the paper pad and it's pretty much, oops. So it's very pretty, that little pumpkins and butterflies. But see, I could cover these up with something else if I wanted to. I don't, I don't know where it's gonna end up, but I know I'm gonna use it. I didn't, must not like that one very much that all four were there. But there's a map paper in here. Are those all map papers? There's four of those. Um, I have that one left. I mean, it's very mixed media, right? So I could use it for a lot more than just fall. Maybe some outdoor layouts. I went camping this summer. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so there's the Prima bulk of the paper that I'm going to use up crossing fingers and toes. All right. I can add wood grains. I'll probably, but it'll be cardstock. It will not be collections that I add to it. So I will only pull out of my colored cardstock to add to this. 
in my color card stock, one of the drawers that I have is wood grain ledger. Um, so you could see that, but still, I'm not gonna pull out a collection to add to this. But what I am gonna try to do, because I'm trying to get everything in my embellishment binders, right? I have a fly trying to, I don't know what he's trying to do. He's trying to get close personal and I don't want to. This was made by a scrappy pal who sent this to me. Who knows? Maybe it'll end up in my journal. Maybe I'll end up using it as an element in my um, uh, scrapping page. I'm not really sure, but it's beautiful. I don't remember. I want to say that Bard made it for me. Or maybe it was Scylla. I, I don't remember. Gosh, I, I honestly don't remember and I feel really bad. It might have even been Michelle. Look at that. See, aren't these just beautiful? The pockets were full. I've used some of the stuff in them, but not all of it. So there's that. Then I have ephemera. We've talked about this. I have so much ephemera. I don't use it enough, but I'm trying. And I had sorted out all of my um, fall ephemera. So we're going to try to do that. These, if you just know, you know, you get them at Hobby Lobby. I always get them after the holidays and you get them super cheap. I use these all the time. I've used them. I'll probably still buy them. I love them because they're already colored wood veneer and it's expensive, right? And it's easy to use. Let's see what I got in here. I've got some goodies. These are probably from Swaps. My fall binder is like, it's like overflowing, y'all. It's exploding at the seams. So if I could avoid putting this in there, it would be to my benefit. Just saying, just saying. Look, you guys, I have so much stuff. Aren't these just beautiful? I love the swaps. I love them. Come over and join us on Ginger's Corner. We would love to have you. Um, a little turkey. We must have had a turkey swap. At this point, I forget. Um, let's see here. Lots of fun. Look, there's a pumpkin and all kinds of goodies. All these embellishments are going to remain in here. Um, and yeah, so you will be seeing me use embellishments a lot because I'm too lazy to put things away. But let's just sum it up and tell it what it is. That, that's what it is, I'm too lazy. Okay, so there's that. Then I have all these goodies as well. Look, I'm pretty, either Shannon or, oh, Tiffany made these look at these little pumpkin dudes they're cute aren't they they're little gnomes anyway so here's more embellishments lots of leaves autumns all that good stuff again i don't want to put it away there's a theme here right gender's lazy that's the theme but that's okay all right then i do have these are scraps of paper that are very obvious to fall right they're not going to go anywhere else that's why they're in this little um container and I get these on well I used to get them on Hobby Lobby because Miss Janet Madison showed us that but you can get these also on um, Amazon oh, I have to try to remember I don't know if I link them in my organizing or not but um, Captain Mallory found them cheaper and so I need to link them I haven't bought any more because I'm changing the way I store things but I won't get rid of these either mm -mm, no but I know on Hobby Lobby they're not called like 12 by 12 cardstock binders. Oh, Ginger, remember to, they're called something else and they're like $2, two dollars two fifty dollars a piece or something like that. They're really cheap, but they're very sturdy and you can fit a little bit of bulk in them. So all these are just scrappy papers, okay? Oh, I remember when I printed these off. Oh, that was a long time ago. So we had to do something fall, I believe, and I printed these off on cardstock and then I fussy cut them and then I set and I put little glitter gems on all the crosses and made a cute little acorn. I had a lot left. <laughs> a lot. Oh goodness. Okay. Who wants to waste ink and cardstock? Not me. So that's in there. We're going to try to use some of that. Then I have these um, creative memories that I've had. <laughs> I don't know how long. How old are these? Hmm, I used to have like three of them. I gifted them. I kept one. I, I can't find the year. Oh wait. Maybe. Oh, 2003. Yeah. All right. Well, my 25 year old was three years old. <laughs> so these are Halloween and fall bits and they're stickers from Creative Memories. Okay. Then I have some acetate. I believe this was gifted and this was one of the things that I asked if it was okay if I kept. I love this. I don't know if I'll use it. I will tell you this. If I don't use this, if I don't use this, 
Um, yeah, it will be going in the blessing box because there's no reason for me to have that. That goes with extra papers. Ooh, that's a card of Bella paper. I can feel that. Um, and I remember that line. I've got some more bits here. They're falling out all over the place. I'm a hot mess. Another piece of acetate, um, or is that what it's called? I don't know. Vella. It's not vellum. I don't, I don't know. It says, um, so very grateful. Very pretty. Okay. Some more papers that could be used. Then these must be papers that are specifically fall, but I use the rest of the collection. So this is um, authentic. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, I bought this at Tuesday morning in bulk. You know where this needs to go? This, I, I, I'm not using this. This needs to go and make envelopes. That's where this needs to go. Isn't that pretty close to that one paper in here? Maybe that's why I thought I'd used it. Weren't we close to ha that same paper? Where did I see it? Oh, look, it's pretty close. Not quite, but close. Okay. I might keep a couple of these. I don't know. We'll see. And then here is some doodle bug paper that I've had for a while. Um, I bought it for these when I was doing my recipe book. Because let's be honest, we bake and we cook around Thanksgiving and around Christmas. Um, I've used them a bunch. If they do not get used in this through the seasons round, they are going in the blessing box as well. As well. Okay, these, yeah, I'm going to put these to make envelopes. I already know. Make envelopes. If you swap, you know what I'm talking about. We make envelopes to put our embellishments in. Okay, that's my whole kit. Not a lot. I can always bring more in, right? But it gives me a jumping off point. I put this in my basket, and then I grab a sketch. I grab some photos, and I'm going to do that later this month. And then I will do it in no October and in November, and then we will be done for the year. So I hope you'll join me. I hope you're excited. Grab out what little fall you have or a lot of fall you have. Use things you have and play along with me. Um, it would tickle my heart to pieces. And with that, I will see you next time with a sketch and with four layouts later this month. Be blessed, and I hope you're following along with whatever else I got going on, which is 30 days sketches, right? We all got 30 days sketches. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.